Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at Gengar again. In our last video it did perform well so let's see if it can hold up again today. But this time we're going to be pairing it up with Snorlax as well as Poliwrath. Poliwrath was on the team last time. Uh, we're going to actually substitute the Alolan Muck for Snorlax. I just wanted to test this team out to see how it worked. Doesn't seem like the best idea but then again it could work quite well. So I found myself getting a few decent wins as well as taking some losses as well. But if there is one thing that I learned for today uh, as far as go battle league and that is going to be do not hoard energy that is not necessary do not overcharge when not needed sometimes i get a little greedy we go down with a ton of energy and that is a lot of the losses that i'm going to be taking here as well as a few not so great plays now with that said let's go ahead and focus on these battles here snorlax going up against the garatina is uh, felt very comfortable so pretty much what i would think here uh, was go for the Earthquake, and if they shield it up, that's fine. At least we get a shield, because basically you're relying on the Lick. And Body Slam is going to be not very effective, and as well as not doing that much damage. So I figure, just go all the way to Earthquake. Maybe we can bait once in a while with the uh, Body Slam, but for the most part, just go Earthquake. So they're bringing in that Registeel. Now we have the Polyrath. This is great. They are up two shields. So they're switching into Swampert, and this is where I made a horrible mistake by swapping into Gengar here onto a loaded Swampert. Now the problem is Gengar extremely squishy. They're going to be able to spam us with Hydro Cannon and that's not going to be a good thing for us because we're just going to go down. We're either going to have to commit to a shield in which they're going to probably just spam us with another one. So it's not a good situation there. I should have just kept on going with the Polyrath up against the Swampert and we would have been looking a whole lot better at this point here. But hey, you live and you learn. And that's what I get for throwing my tank down like that up against Giratina. Uh, but those situations you just have to make very quickly. So uh, we're just going to fight on here and see what we can do. They're going to be switching into their Registeel with loaded energy and taking us out with a Focus Blast there. And I'm going to be leading with Polyrath the entire video here, as well as using the same team. So we're met with a Shiftry. This is not great because Gengar can't really do too much. So we're kind of forced to switch into the... Snorlax here. I could have continued on with the Polyrath and did a lot of damage to them with the Ice Punch, but I'd rather not get spammed by Leaf Blade and have to burn through my shield. So we're just going to sw swap into our uh, sort of safe swap here. And we are running, of course, Body Slam and Earthquake, as you've seen, showing the IVs in the beginning as well as the moves. If you did not see the Snorlax, it, it does have Earthquake and then Body Slam. Uh, so in comes the Polyrath. We're going to try to get off this Body Slam here. Just do as much damage as possible. We can switch at this point, but I was thinking about <laughs> possibly switching into my Gengar, but I, I was so low they wouldn't go for a Dynamic Punch. So it was probably better off just waiting for them to get off their energy and then go ahead and go in here with the Gengar. We're going to shield this up. Now, it's, it's going to do a considerable amount of damage, uh, but I do want to keep the Gengar healthy. So they let the Polyrath go down. They reveal their last Pokemon, which is going to be Registeel. They make an immediate switch for me to go for, I don't know, Shadow Ball uh, to try to catch that with the Shiftry here. But we go for the Ice Punch instead, and they use a Shield anyways. So they're going to basically take us out, or we're going to have to commit to a Shield. I decide to go for it because we're going to be able to get to another Ice Punch here. And this will definitely take them out. And there's no more Shield, so I decided to just go ahead and go for it. Potentially able to get to a dynamic punch but they're able to get to a charge is it it doesn't matter if it's flash cannon yeah it's no oh, never mind well i take that back we were able to survive and we're going to be switching into gengar here so they do not gain a bunch of energy and we were so close to getting off that shadow ball are we going to be able to survive this and unfortunately not because we're so squishy and then they take us out with lockdowns that was a close one there all right moving it into the next one here i kind of like snorlax uh, you know, you have to look out for the obvious fighting type moves and it works great going up against Giratinas as well. Uh, we also have Gengar for that and kind of uh, protection from the dark types, the Polyrath, and then the protection from the ghost, the Snorlax, and then the protection from the fighting. So it's kind of like the rock, paper, scissors effect going on with the team sort of here. Uh, so we're going to be going for the Ice Punch. We were able to get that dynamic through. They did make a swap. We didn't see what it was. We just went for Ice Punch here. It's going to be a Snorlax. So a little bit of wasted energy, but that's okay. We're going to be building up to a dynamic punch. Are we going to let this go through? Yes, because that was very early. And a body slam is not going to be doing much to our, you know, somewhat tanky Polyrath. Tank Polyrath is 
really nice. It can take hits for sure. So if you have the Stardust to invest in one for the Ultra League, I encourage you to do so because it works quite nicely. Uh, so we have the Snorlax versus Snorlax here, mirror match. And we're looking really well with all that energy as well as health. So we're just going to go ahead and go for Body Slam. We don't need to hit all these because it's about to go down. We just wanted a little bit more energy for that Swampert there. So we're going to be able to hit that Body Slam. And they're going to be using that last shield here. Uh, expecting a Hydro Cannon at this point. We're going to be shielding it up. Because we have so much energy ready to go for another Body Slam. Shields are down. We're making a swap into the Giratina. Or we're deciding to stay here. So we're going to be able to take a few of these. Let's see if we're going to be able to potentially get off a Earthquake here. I think it's going to be very close and we're able to get to it. This is going to do an okay amount of damage, as you can see there. Really nice. So they decide to use their energy here as well. I do believe this is a Shadow Claw. So yeah, they're going to pretty much have to use a Charge Move to take me out. Otherwise, I'm just going to be able to uh, really dig in with that Lick there. Uh, so we're bringing in the Polyrath. Not very effective and a little bit of lag and then they do... Uh, give up that match there and we take the win and uh, let's move on to the next match here I'm excited for tomorrow's video folks so uh, look out for that make sure you have notifications on and if you do enjoy this video as like usual please give it a like and subscribe if you're new so we're met with a Swampert here and we were able to get that dynamic punch through that's great and we were uh, shielding that earthquake correctly so so far so good now we're just going to be able to go for ice punches at this point just in case they use a shield uh, so we don't waste all of our energy. And it is going to be another Earthquake, but that's perfectly fine since uh, we were able to take them low enough. Let's see if they decide to shield. They let it go down. So we're down a shield, unfortunately, at this point. I don't want to switch right now because I do not want to lose switch priority. So we're just going to let the Cresselia take us down. Unfortunately, it is going to be able to farm a decent amount with that Psycho Cut there. Making my decision, we're definitely going to be going in here with the Snorlax because it's so tanky. It can take the hits from Cresselia and we're doing super effective damage with our quick move here. So they're making a switch into Registeel. We have enough for Earthquake, so we're just going to go for it at this point. And they do decide to shield it up. That's okay. They did get through a shield there. Now let's see if we can uh, get this Registeel out of here with our Gengar. Shielding that up, we can take a Flash Cannon with this much health. Obviously, a Focus Blast is nothing that they want to do. Uh, so that's another potential for Gengar. Trying to catch a Focus Blast on something and you switch into Gengar is going to really help you out. So we're surviving that. They have used all of their shields at this point. So as you can see, Gengar, I mean, has some great usability as we've seen from the video that I did make yesterday. And now today it is still putting in work here. So we're making a switch into our Snorlax immediately as they go into Cresselia. They did use all that energy on a future site here. And we're really, you know, doing quite a bit of damage. It's adding up with the lick. And check it out. We're able to get to another one. I'm a little surprised they weren't able to hit a future site there. All right. So the Registeel comes in and takes us out with lock on. A little bit of lag here. We should be able to win this with a Shadow Claw. And there it went. So good stuff there. Moving it on to the next match. And we're met with a Registeel. We love this. Let's go. We like this. All right. Just waiting for that switch. And there it is. And now we switch. Maybe I should have went for a dynamic punch now that I look back on this. Uh, but we make an immediate switch into Snorlax to absorb this Blast Burn, taking us down quite significantly, unfortunately, even though we're so tanky. Uh, on the right side, we are resisting the quick move, which is going to be Shadow Claw. Uh, so I felt like they did a little bit of overcharging here. So they're going to have another Blast Burn ready to go fairly soon. So we're just going to go for that Body Slam. There's nothing else we can do at this point. We're locked in here. Uh, but the Snorlax is pretty much doing what I wanted it to do, kind of go in as that safe swap and a bit of a bulk to it. So they're not going to be able to just uh, take it out immediately. Although we have to look out for that Blast Burn. We're able to farm down with Lick. In comes a Snorlax or a Giratina. And I'm going to have to go for that Earthquake there. And we get it through. And then we're going to be making a switch into Gengar. We have no more shields. This was not the best idea. And what can we do though? We're going to go for Shadow Ball. And obviously they're going to be shielding that up. That's their last shield there. So... Going back in here with Snorlax to absorb whatever they do throw at me. We still have the Polyrath in the back. And we're going to be able to potentially take this Giratina almost out with the Snorlax Lick. So we should be able to go in here with the Polyrath and now farm down even more energy at this point. So we can hit whatever's in the back, which is going to be that Registeel with these back-to-back -back dynamic punches. And this should secure the win here so long as I hit Excellent. And we're able to do it. Yeah. 
All right, and we take the win there with the double dynamic punch poly wrath. And that was the three rewards and check it out. I was able to get myself another shiny Kabalion. Something that I really find quite annoying regarding the legendaries out of the Go Battle League is the fact that they break out all the time. I know they decreased, you know, the odds of them breaking out of the Pokeball or whatever ball you're using, but shouldn't they make it just, you know, very, very, very easy to catch or just at least one ball at this point in the position that a lot of us are in? Because I, I mean, I'm burning through the resources, but then again, I maybe should just take that all back because they're going to be making it so we can go out and raid with people. We do not know 100% the details on how all of it's going to work exactly, but we know that we're going to be able to go out there and play to some degree. Potentially the gyms that you've recently seen or the gold gyms that you have or any gym that you've priorly visited, you're going to be able to potentially go back and raid at that gym there remotely from your house. So we'll see how all that works. So I guess I need to not drill them too hard, but you know, little quality of life things that would be nice. So we are going to be switching into Snorlax here. And this is great for us. They are locked in here. And we're just going to be able to just do a bunch of licks. And like I said before, when we're in this specific situation here, we just hope they don't get the boost one. And we're just going to be going for Earthquake. All right. Like sometimes, like I said, potentially we'll do a shield bait once in a while. Maybe after I make this video, if I decide to keep using this and somebody's seen it and I have a feeling, you know, they know exactly what's going to happen. So I just go for the body slam, get the shield there. But it, it's really relying on the lick. So we're finally able to, we're using a shield here. I think I kind of want to keep the switch priority. So they're letting it go through. It goes down. They have that Articuno. We're able to get to another body slam, but the problem is Articuno is building up quite a bit of energy and it's going to icy win the heck out of whatever I bring in here. So we're just going to go ahead and go with the Gengar. I don't know why I would do this. Honestly. All right. So they bring in the Snorlax. I, oh, there we go. See, like I said before, there's the battle me and then there's the commentary me. Right now, I don't remember exactly what was going on. There is a Snorlax back there and I had this all you know, process through my mind and uh, prepared accordingly. That's why I went in Gengar. Now we're able to line up with the Snorlax. So this works great. And what is it going to be though? I'm down. I have no more shield. Oh, okay. So we're able to get to this dynamic punch and this is going to be close. We're going to switch into our Gengar, go Shadow Ball or Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb at this point because it's so low. Gengar does so much damage and we're able to take that win with the Gengar at the end. All right, so moving on to the next battle here, folks. Uh, a good amount of battles here. So we're met with an Articuno. This is a uh, okay situation. I actually like it. Uh, it's not too nerve-wracking. I don't really have to worry about what move they're going to use or whatever. Uh, so they're switching into Cresselia. We're going to go with Snorlax, right? Uh, let's see what charge move they do have on this one here. Future Sight. So didn't that come a little quicker? Feels like it compared to that other Cresselia that we did see. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and shield this up. It is going to be an Aurora Beam. So they got the shield out of us. Good shield bait. And we're going for the Earthquake. It does get through. So good damage here. And at this point, we're going to be able to go for the Body Slam. And it's going to be getting dangerously low for them. Still not shielding up that Cresselia and letting it go down there. Snorlax still looking pretty healthy. We're going to be getting hit by an Icy Wind, I suspect. And our attack has been lowered. But we're still able to get to a Body Slam, which is still going to be doing considerable amount of damage. I mean, never mind. <laughs> I have something better than no damage. We're going in with the Polyrath, immediately going for that Ice Punch before they debuff our attack. And uh, here it comes right now. And then they're going to potentially switch. There you go. And they're going into Gramble. We're going to be going into Gengar, resisting the charms uh, because we are poisoned. Doesn't look like it because it is so squishy, but uh, we should be able to pull that on top with this. The charms digging in. Very much so. Not looking too great. They're hitting us with a crunch. That would have definitely taken us out. And we're going to be going for another Sludge Bomb. This should... I wanted to farm a little here, but it was... The charm is doing too much. So we're going with Polyrath, hitting it up immediately with the Ice Punch. And this should almost take the win. This isn't going to KO. This is going to be very close, but we're going to be able to finish it off with quick moves. and Or get to another Ice Punch and just barely tap on it. So that was a close one there. Another icy win, and I would have been a goner for sure. Uh, so Gengar putting it work for sure. Snorlax doing its job, so it is pretty nice. 
Uh, so we're met with a another Articuno, this time Shiny. And then they're switching into Polyrath. And we're going to be going in with Gengar. Now, this is a very unfortunate situation. Now, what I should have done was build up to, or wait, let it build up to a dynamic punch and then predict when they were about to use it on my Polyrath and then switch into my Gengar. Therefore, I would have had more energy and I would have been able to just simply absorb that not very effective move. But at this point, they're going to be able to spam Ice Punch a little bit quicker than I can get to my charge moves. So therefore, now we're, you know, no more shields and they still have a shield. Are they going to shield this up? They do. So now they win the switch and they're switching into uh, Lowland Muck, which is going to be able to take us down and waste our energy. So we're going to be going back in here with the Polyrath and go for the Dynamic Punch. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's so long we can get one more through. I don't think we really need to get to a Dynamic Punch at this point. An Ice Punch is going to be great uh, because of the super effective quick moves that we're doing. And then this is just going to be, well, not quite there, but switching into Snorlax, kind of questionable there. Potentially should have just stayed in with the Polyrath to eat it. Uh, but hey, let's see how this all plays out. So they're able to get to a charge move. We had our uh, body slam ready to go, but it's not. it wouldn't have taken it out anyways. And we're going to be going for the dynamic punch and taking it out. But there's an Ar Articuno in the back, full health and shiny. I, I don't even know why I even tapped on this. I should have just uh, sit there and let them take us out. But now we're going to fight until the end here. They're going to finish us off with the Icy Wind and take the game. Very nice. Alrighty, so moving it into the next one. And we're met with a Giratina. Now I started running into these a lot. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but hey, maybe I should start going with a hard counter like Snorlax. So if we do switch into our Snorlax at this point, into that Giratina, which wouldn't really be able to do anything to us. They're going to immediately switch into another Pokemon. So we're just going to basically play this out. I may shield up the Polyrath. Yeah, I definitely want to keep switch priority. They get the boost. Okay, this is the boost one. All right. So yeah, we could pretty much figure out how this plays. So I immediately switch into my Snorlax. So they have to switch. And it works. So, I mean, at least that was, you know, good for me there. We pretty much took care of the boost, boosted Giratina uh, origin form, which would have been a big problem if my Gengar seen that. But I do believe that's not going to be the only one we encounter boosted, uh, I think. So we're just going to be going for this uh, Body Slam here. Just doing as much damage before, before we know they're going to potentially hit us with that charge move in, which they do. Flash Cannon is going to take us out. Maybe we should go in here with Gengar and farm down. All right, so we're not going to do that because I think we know that the Giratina in the back has energy. I know we have a shield and all, but let's see what happens. They're going to be going in with Venusaur. Now, at this point, I could swap into Gengar. All right, yeah. Okay, this is good. So now we'll have energy for the Giratina if they do decide to switch, but let's see how this plays out. I let this Frenzy Plant go through because we know we can take it. This is where I got greedy. This is where I said we need to learn our lessons on bad decisions could have took it out with the Sludge Bomb, but I decided to go with it. And now they're able to switch in here. We are loaded with energy and they take us out because we just simply didn't want to get off our charge and wanted to farm some more. And then we're just going to go in here and get Ominous Wind. Well played. Good game. Alrighty. So uh, let's move on to the next match here. See what we have. We're starting it off, of course, with Polyrath. And they're going in there with the Swampert. So, hmm. We already know how this works out. We're just going to have to predict. This is definitely a Hydro Cannon. All right, so if I'm not at a Dynamic Punch and they're using their Charge Move, it's definitely a Hydro Cannon. So we don't need to worry about that. We're going to let it go through. So pretty comfortable there. Uh, we get to another Dynamic Punch. And they are building up to an Earthquake at this point. I think they really want to hit us with an Earthquake. I think I potentially... Do I shield this? Yes, I do. It's a, another Hydro Cannon. All right, so... They got the shield. Really nice. Now, this is obviously a Hydro Cannon because that was really quick, but I just decided to use the shield anyways. Kind of a waste. Probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, now we're down to no shields. Uh, so we're just going to go on here. Once the Polyrath does go down, we're just going to be able to go in with the Snorlax and uh, see what they potentially switch into. Hopefully, the Gengar will be able to handle something really quick uh, because with shields down, Gengar is going to still be okay. But it needs to look out, right? Because we know it's squishy. So we go in here with the Snorlax. Let's see if they're going to try to switch out after this here. 
and this decide to keep going. Now they switch into Togekiss. So we're going in with the Gengar. This is perfect. We're going to be able to get the Sludge Bomb. They did use their last shield. And now we're looking good. Perfect. So we're able to take that Togekiss out with the Gengar. Doing considerable amount of damage with Shadow Claw to that Giratina. They're going to obviously almost... All right. One more Shadow Claw or Dragon Breath from them. And they take us out. Going in with the Snorlax. Loaded energy. Hitting the Giratina with Earthquake and taking the win there. All right. So awesome. And moving it on to the next one. And if you're wondering how do these uh, trainers under rank 10, like 9 and under, get the uh, new pose like that, uh, because you have to be rank 10 to get that. There was a glitch when the Go Battle League first came out, and then all this stuff happened, you know, all the, the typical stuff, you know, with all the bugs. And they were able to get it. So that's why some people have it, and they're not rank 9. Anyways, we have the Snorlax up against the Swampert here. Hydro Cannon hurts still, all right? Snorlax is tanky, but Hydro Cannon is just no joke. And at the rate that Swampert can spam those things out, it, it's just disgusting, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, they nerfed it, but I honestly feel like they need to nerf it some more. If they nerf the quick move, then it's going to affect other Pokemon. Uh, and if you're trying to like fix the whole Hydro Cannon Swampert situation, you're going to have to basically go for... Hydro Cannon at this point. And that's what they already did. So anyways, we have the Polyrath up against the Giratina. There's another one that I was talking about. We started running into these here. And we're just going to be going for the Ice Punch, obviously. Doing a lot of damage. This is a little bit more of a comfortable situation going up against the Altered because it's not so tanky and there's no more shield. So what we do is switch into our Gengar. They had energy, uh, but we switched so quick we we're able to take them out there. And they dropped with potential Ominous Wind ready to go. And... Let's see how we play this out. This shouldn't take us, or maybe. Oh, we survive. But then they switch into Ready Steel. We go for the Shadow Ball. This is going to be doing a lot of damage here. And I was almost able, well, not really able to get to another one. Uh, we're going to be able to get to the Dynamic Punch here. This is going to take them out. And Swampert is going to go down with an Ice Punch. This is a Hydro Cannon, I think. Hydro Cannon, and we're able to get to an Ice Punch and take the win with the Polyrath, and it doesn't really have much health. I just, yeah, just went for it, just for safe measures. Anyways, moving into the next battle here, starting it off with the Alolan Muck over there, and we're looking pretty good. Polyrath really likes this matchup. They're making a switch into Giratina, gaining a little bit more energy than I uh, kind of needed. Potentially should have got off an Ice Punch and then bailed into the Snorlax. Uh, so we know this situation pretty well. We're going to, I think, go for a bait on the Giratina this time around. Uh, or not, we're just slamming the Earthquake. <laughs> I say that as I'm like tapping on the Earthquake before I even have it. Uh, so they do decide to shield it up, which is fine. Like we've discussed already, I don't mind them shielding that up. We got a shield out of them. If it gets through, then great. We've done a little bit more damage. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be able to take it pretty low for Gengar to go in here and farm down. But they're deciding to switch, and we go down with a ton of energy. <laughs> well played. So we're going to be going in here with Gengar at this point. And I was thinking I wanted to switch into Polyrath to absorb this Ice Punch, but we can't risk all that switching around. So we're going to decide to shield or let this go through. Surviving with just barely any health. Looks like we're trying to save our shields for the Polyrath. All right. Very surprising. We're going to be going in here. With oh, yeah. Okay. I remember this now. I did not mean to hit that dynamic punch. I wanted to go for ice punch. Obviously, they had a sliver of health left. I was completely a waste. So all that energy we initially built up is, uh, you know, not completely wasted. We still have a dynamic punch here, but could have potentially done a little bit better out of this situation. They're going to be shielding that up, and now they're shieldless. And we're able to get to another one here. This is going to do a lot of damage. But they switch into Giratina. <laughs> Very nice. And absorbing that dynamic punch. And that was, I think, the turn of the game. Let's see how I'm able to play this out with the Polyrath. Saving those shields. Have one shield left. I think we're going to be able to pull this off. The Snarl on the, on the Alolan Muck is not going to be doing much to us at all. So we're going to be able to get to that. And now an Ice Punch. We used our shield. Oh, man, that, that was close. No, we're not going to be able to survive that. Gengar in the back. Oh, goes down immediately. What a close one. All right, good game. Moving it on to the next one here. Let's see what they're starting it off with. Giratina. All right, so Polyrath up against Giratina. This is 
an okay matchup. I mean, not the best in the world, but we have Ice Punch. We are bulky. We resist the Ancient Power. Uh, but there's going to be many opportunities for them to throw the Ancient Power to potentially get the boost. And that's where I get a little bit nervous between all those opportunities here. And in between that, we're just going to chip away with Ice Punch. If they don't shield up one of those, uh, we're definitely going to be able to take this here. Another Ancient Power, no boost on their end. Uh, potentially a shield coming out of their end. And they do shield it up. If I had Dragon Breath, I would be... I would have shielded up a uh, charge move a long time ago because that is going to absolutely devastate me uh, to the point where you think you're going to be able to survive another charge move plus some quick moves, but Dragon Breath does so much. So we make a switch into Snorlax here and they're deciding to carry on with the Giratina here. We still have two shields and they are down a shield. We have a bunch of energy and I decided to go for the shield bait. Earthquake would have done okay, but I think actually... Maybe Body Slam is going to be the better play at this point. Anyways, because we're getting Stab. And we're going to let this go through. And we have Gengar in the back. Getting a little bold with the Gengar. So I did save the two shields for it for the late game. But let's see if we're going to be able to actually pull this off. They're switching into Swampert. It's... I mean, I can already tell you right now. Uh, the Swampert is going to be able to spam me. Now we have zero shields. And it's not looking great. If we are at two Shadow Balls, potentially, uh, we were almost there. We could have went for the Sludge Bomb, but it would have been a waste of energy because it's not very effective. So they're able to take us out there. Well played. Unfortunately, saving the two shields at the end for the Gengar, I wanted to see how the play would work, but it just did not go well for me. So starting it off, we have a Swampert over there, nice and shiny. So let's see if we can get this Dynamic Punch through. They decide to shield it up. That's not the you know best situation, kind of. Lost a lot of energy there. Hitting us up with Earthquake. We shield that up, which is a good call. We're just going to go for Dynamic Punch again to see if we can get this through. If they use two shields, then okay. So they're using two shields. Did I see an Alolan Muck on my team? Did I actually change up my team once? Let it, let's see what that is after I get this through. We're deciding to continue on here and just let the Polyrath go down with the ship. You did your job. Thank you. Okay. So I lied in the beginning. We are actually going to be switching up the team just slightly here. So it looks like I swapped out Snorlax for the Alolan Muck uh, just to uh, spice it up a bit here. So there they go, switching into theirs. And we're going to be switching into ours. A shiny yet again. Looks like they have a nice little shiny team over there. And I'm going to be going for Gunk Shot because it's just going to be doing so much damage, even if it's resisted. All right, so let's see how this fight plays out. We're shieldless. They're shieldless. Who's going to win the muck off? All right. And we got to a, to a uh, Dark Pulse, but we're not going to be going for that. All right, we're going to be able to... Oh, they made such a clean switch. They switched into something. Looks like the Swampert with very low health. Very nice uh, sack swap there. That was really well played. Unfortunately, we go in with the Gengar and just hit this up against the Caesar. A Shadow Ball would have almost taken it out. And, oh, that, that was a very bad move. We get hit by super effective Night Slash. We go in here with the Muck. It has no health. They take us out. It's all bad. All right. So they, they had a nice shiny team there. So good stuff. So we're met with a Articuno. And we're just going to go for Ice Punch for the first one here. And then we're going to go for Dynamic Punch after they do lower our attack. Because they're going to feel comfortable to not shield up at this point. They've lowered their, their attack. And now, you know, they're just going to let it go through to save their shields. But it still does a considerable amount of damage, that dynamic punch there, being the part ice type. And we're going to continue on with the dynamic punches. And being a little bit cautious for a potential switch because of this whole switch glitch currently. Very annoying. Um, switching in a Pokemon at the perfect time, we've seen that's a thing to do. It's just a lot of times you have a better reaction time to kind of see that they're actually switching and then potentially tap on something else. You guys understand. You can, you know there's a switch glitch here. Anyways, um, let's go on and see what happens here. So they're taking us out. And we still have two shields. We're going in with the Gengar. A little brave. A little brave here. <laughs> yeah. that's. I mean, if Gengar had a quicker charge move... The thing would be so good. I mean, it already is pretty good, but if it had a quicker one, less energy to get to, 
man, it would be a nasty little thing. It really does need it because it is so glassy. You don't see an influx of people using it for sure. So we make a swap into Venusaur. So we're did, <laughs> we switched out our team again. So we're keeping the Polyrath, we're keeping the Gengar, but we swapped out the Muck instead uh, for the Venusaur. And so the Snorlax is still sitting on the bench right now. I just wanted to use Venusaur. I, I was running to so many Swampers. That's the problem. That's what I came across. And then the time I had the Venusaur, it wasn't able to do what it needed to do right there. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Uh, so that's why Venusaur is on my team. Hey, and would you look at that? Gengar was able to pull up the win for us with a Shadow Ball. Moving it on, we're met with a Venusaur. This is not great. So we're going to be swapping into Gengar here. We have a good amount of energy. We're met by a Weavile. Very interesting. We're just going to be going for that Sludge Bomb here. They let it go through. And we have a bit of lag. And we're shielding this up. I mean, whatever they use is going to take us out. Uh, let's see if we can farm down. We're able to farm it down. We're both very squishy. Surprised they let that go through. In comes the Gyarados. So we're just going to be going for Sludge Bomb. It's going to do massive damage if they let it go through. Dragon Breath is just hurting too much. We were at a Sludge Bomb, but we are not able to get it off. We're going to be going in here with the Polyrath expecting that crunch so we will be able to resist it uh venusaur is going to be great and there's that swap and we're going to be going into our venusaur uh, they were trying to get a frenzy plant but we we're able to catch that here very nice so we do have the lead in this specific scenario with the venusaurs we're at an energy advantage and we're able to get off the sludge bomb a little bit sooner here as you've seen so we're both at zero shields we're both going to be able to take a sludge bomb at this point so let's see exactly how this plays out. As we've seen, I'm going to be able to get to the Sludge Bomb first. They know this. Let's see how they adapt. They're switching into Gyarados. We're going into the Polyrath to absorb this. It's a Hydro Pump, unexpected, doing a lot of damage. And I get greedy here. Another game in which I could have took the win, but I overcharged. If I would have went for Ice Punch there, I had like two. I could have taken out the Gyarados. Went in there with the Venusaur, potentially one. Um, I really need to stop doing that. All right, so we're met with another Polyrath. And okay, uh, we've seen this one yesterday. We could potentially switch into Gengar to catch the Dynamic Punch. But I'm going to tell you right now, my head wasn't in the zone today regarding PvP. So if you're not seeing the best plays today, guys, it, I, wasn't, I wasn't all there. I, I wasn't completely focused. I was definitely out of the zone and I felt like I was just rushing my battles. But anyways, we are going to have used a shield here. I think I was trying to catch a dynamic punch, but they make a swap into Venusaur. Uh, so we're going to be able to take a Frenzy Plant, but that's the only one we can take at this point. We do resist it. Frenzy Plant strong, Gengar squishy. Combination not good for us. So I may commit the shield. Okay, I do. So they're shieldless. We go for another Shadow Claw. There we go again, gaining energy we don't necessarily need. We take them out, obviously, there. Let's see what they go in. They're not going to be able to farm us much at all. They go in with a Polyrath and get a couple mud shots off. And we do have that Venusaur. So we're going to be going in here with that. And now what I do here is I switch into Venusaur, then switch to Polyrath immediately because they're going to want to hit me with Ice Punch. We absorb it. Bingo. We made them waste energy, but hey, joke's on us. They switched to Feraligator, and we didn't see it. Oh, man, that, that was uh, actually pretty awesome. So we're going for the Dynamic Punch there. As we've seen, they have Crunch, so good thing they do not have Ice Beam. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bad situation here. That wouldn't have taken us out. So we're able to farm down, and they are bringing in... I forgot what, it was, what was that back there? Oh, the Polyrath, yeah. Duh. Uh, so we finish it off with a Frenzy Plant and take the win there. Moving it on, we're met by Typhlosion. This is great for us. They're switching immediately into a Shift Tree, and we're going to be going with Venusaur here, expecting a Leaf Blade. That was very quick, so yes, that's what it is. We're resisting it. Amazing. So we're going to be going for the Sludge Bomb right off the bat here. I think I decide to shield this up. And yeah, going for that. This is going to KO if they let it go through. We get it. Awesome. In comes the Typhlosion here. This is still going to hurt it a little bit. Uh, it's just because, I mean, look at that. I mean, oh, not very effective. What? <laughs> Frenzy Plant. There is no type here. Your powers, you have none. <laughs> so they take us out with Blast Burn. We're going to be going in here with the Polyrath to bait out a shield. And we get it. Amazing. 
if we're able to get another shield out of this Typhlosion, that would be just fantastic. And we're able to get another shield out of them, so that's great. Expecting a potential Solar Beam. That's why I shielded that up there. So uh, now I was expecting a Solar Beam, was trying to absorb it with Gengar. It's a Blast Burn, and that was a horrible sacrifice swap there. Uh, but like I said, I was expecting a potential Solar Beam. If it was, that would have been so clutch. And then they have a Giratina in the back, and I don't even tap on these. I was like, okay, pff, yeah, you win. <laughs> I surrender. You got me there. All right, so moving it on to the next battle. We're almost to the end of this video, folks. So if you do enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. That always helps me out quite a bit. So we're met with a Giratina, and you know the situation. We're going to be able to win this here. Is this the Dragon Breath? All right, this is a little bit of a different situation uh, as far as the Giratina having Shadow Claw. I can beat the Shadow Claw one if they don't shield. The Dragon Breath one, a little different. That It's just going to eat away at me. Uh, although I think I still can potentially win if they don't shield. Let's see. So we shield this up. Uh, suspecting a shield to come out of them here. No, they decide to not. Okay, and we switch into Gengar to finish them off quickly. But now we're locked and they have two shields. And they're going in with a muck. Uh, okay, see, and that's why playing that way is just not the smartest like Gengar is not the best safe swap around it's not tanky and it can get walled shadow ball is going to take off a lot of health as you've seen but it's just you know you're gonna have to burn the shields and i didn't want to do that I'm just going to go back in here with polyrath and uh see what we can salvage out of this battle here so like i've said before my score it does matter to me regarding season one and me getting to rank 10 and all that stuff but i, I just can't help it I really can't help just to have a little fun, mix it up and spice it up, change things and not go with Registeel or Giratina and uh, just have fun with it. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. And uh, yeah, anyways, so we're up against the Polyrath. Ice Punch is, you know, it's going to hurt us, but this is Ultra League. Venusaur is another story. It could take hits so much better. And on the other hand, Frenzy Plant still Frenzy Plant. <laughs> so good luck. Uh, on the receiving end so on to the next battle here we're met with a caesar lead okay they're gonna have to switch they're going into Clefable, and we're going into gengar here a little bit of lag all right we learned our yes lesson yesterday just keep tapping all right so we're gonna go for that sludge bomb that would certainly take it out we have a lot of energy at this point we just didn't see all the energy gain because of the lag so we're gonna be able to hit that sludge bomb quite quickly Let's see if they decide to commit two shields. Okay, this is this is good. I think I go in here with Polyrath and Ice Punch. And yeah, all right. This is going to be enough to take it out. I think I might have to do a couple quick moves. Yep, a couple there. But it brings us dangerously low. I don't like that. We have one shield. Uh, they're going back in here with Caesar, So that indicates to me there's something potentially back there that they really do not want my Polyrath to see. So we're going to, I think we let this go through because it's not very effective. Yeah. And we need to save that shield for Venusaur. Going for Ice Punch here. I don't think this is going to necessarily KO. We should potentially try to make a switch into Venusaur to finish them off, but uh, that wasn't the case. Plus, they're massively resisting Grass too, so I don't think that would have worked. There's a Typhlosion. Now, thank goodness we were able to have Energy Advantage. Otherwise, this probably would have been a game over. I have a shield left, and that is going to massively help me in this situation. We go for the Sludge Bomb there. Takes a lot of damage. Now we're going for Frenzy Plant, because Frenzy Plant, and it's able to take out Typhlosion. So uh, thank you, Venusaur, for helping me take the win up against a Fire-type. And for our last battle, folks, let's see what we have. This is a great lead. They're going to have to make a switch. They're going into Giratina, and we're swapping into... That was a miss switch. There's no way I intentionally went into a Venusaur uh, with a, like, gear. Oh, did they just get the boost? Oh, wow. So I I made a miss swap. They got the boost. Um, Yeah. GG. So, anyways, trainers, I am going to get ready for tomorrow's video and see what Pokemon I'm going to be using. What kind of unique picks I can do, combinations, and uh, see how all that turns out. Anyways, thanks again for watching. If you did all the way up into the end, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.